Well, good morning to all of you. It's wet and windy in Stoke. That doesn't stop this game from being played, though. It's Stoke versus Sprouston in a massive game for both teams' seasons. Sprouston, if they win this, go on to 10 points from four games. Stoke, if they win this, nine points from three games. So let's see what can happen in this one. First threat of the game, and it's Zach with a far side on the corner. It's flicked on well. And Finn heads it backwards instead of forwards, goes out for a throw in. Headed backwards and it's fallen to the eight. Cuts inside and the shot's off. It's not strong enough though. And Charlie can claim very easily. Now let's get it back to Zach and get a ball into the box of his left foot. And he has not a flick on. He's nowhere near the target again. And Stoke get away with another one. Finn playing into danger in the eight. Has stolen it away from Zach. And he has room to run in. The shot is deflected and it's gone straight into Charlie's arms. Stokes first corner of the game. It's a good ball as well, and the wind's helped it through the header. What a save, and it's into the back of the net. And Stoke have the advantage early on here, and it's a brilliant header as well. Charlie got the first save, but I'm not sure if Frankie cleared into uh, the 14 who scored. It's into the box. Someone loses their man, I think it's Alex, and yeah, the ball is bundled into the back of the net, and it's Stoke 1, Sprouston 0. Good interplay in the centre. The ball could be way through the middle. It's in perfect as well in the five. He's beating the defence. He's beating the offside trap. He's in. Oh, what a chance. Has to be scoring from there. Could have been 2 0 very early on. And that could have been Sprouse and dead and buried. The ball through. In perfect. Beating the offside trap. And he's just got to put it away. It's an easy chance. And he misses it. Furrow's gone in. He's headed up rather than out. I think it was Adam. A good touch as well. And Archer's been muscled off by the 14, still has it. Lovely turn, and he's into the box, and the shot, oh, it's taken a horrible bounce, and it's into the back of the net, it's 2-0 to Stoke. Well, that's a lovely, lovely skill and a goal from 14, but it's an awfully unlucky bounce from a Sprouston point of view, and they go in 2-0 now. And Sprouston letting the 5 run, and he's still going, and the shot from the 10 has gone way over the bar. Charlie chasing lost causes in the 18, has given it to him as well, and he's in here, he's got Dell in the box, they're going to get the ball across, it's good from the keeper to deny that from going across to Dell. Well, we're just all set for the second half, Stoke 2, Sprouston nil. Sprouston need a hero to pop up in this second half to stop them from losing this game, and it'll be a massive game to lose as well. Well, unfortunately, the third goal from Stoke wasn't captured. It was a lovely play on the far side from the number 12. He gets to the byline, cuts inside of Adam, then inside of Alex as well. And he's got the chance and he hits it to the, towards the near post. And Charlie can't get there and it hits off the post into the back of the net. And it's 3 0. Zach so got a lovely pass to the outside of his foot to Charlie. He's in on goal here. And the linesman's flag gone up. He puts it in the back of the net, as all good strikers do. But the linesman has put his flag up. He's offside here, or so we think. Oh, no, he's not. He's miles onside. That's a shocking decision from the lino. Flag goes up. Nowhere near offside. He must have been a good metre or two onside. Awful decision from the lino. He sticks it in the back of the net. But really should have counted. 3-0. Thing goes diving. Then nine beats him as well. So he has the ball out wide. And it's not dealt with properly by Jack. And the shot is ambitious. And it's straight into Charlie's arms. Good touch with some Finn. Can he unleash a shot he has, and the bounce hasn't worked in his favour, and the keeper can gather. Here's Jack picking up the loose pieces, and he has a try now from range. And it's not too bad, but it goes over the bar. I think it was Jack. They got his head to that corner, and Stoke can clear. It's to Alex at the back, and he's made a hash of that, and the 10 can pick up the pieces, and he's got 12 on the far side, and he's in on goal for 4-0. It's a heavy touch, Charlie comes out, and Charlie does very well to put that towards the corner flag. That could have been four very easily. Jack goes in possession, and the five picks up the piece. He comes forward again, and the shot is simple enough for Charlie. He has to dive, though. The first time he's had some space to run, and he has it as well. And Ray with a shot has fallen to Jack, and that's deflected as well. Alex has got a cross, and Dell picks up the pieces. And makes it 3-1. Well, Dell, first time he's had space and he's ran in it as well. Ray with a shot, blocked. Jack with a shot, blocked again. Good defending. Alex, open goal, really. Has to score. But it's across to Dell and he finishes it and it's 3-1. Good keep ball from Stoke in the far corner. 
And the referee blows the final whistle that finishes here. Stoke 3, Sproulston 1. A poor day at the office from Sproulston. It looked like Stoke just wanted it more in the end. Quick fire goals in the first half from the corner and really should have been more really from Stoke's point of view. It looked like they had more chances to make it more than three. However, it does stay free. Sprouston with a late consolation. Nothing more though. And it finishes 3-1. That's all for this week. Goodbye now.